Hey Adam, I'm back and I bet you know where I'm headed. Yeah. I'm headed to Connecticut for the Roseblood premiere. So I'm so excited. Wow. It was really a dream come true to get to play that character again. John Beekler, our director, had always wanted another story uh, for Tina. And the one that we did, I think, I think it nails her pretty good as to what happened to her. What do you think happened to Tina when she left at the end of the movie in the ambulance? What do you think happened to her? So you're gonna get to find out. And whew, getting ready to shoot it was crazy. Um, we're in the pandemic, of course, and I shot my scenes in Seattle. It was very cold. Um, we worked on the same sets of Vengeance and Vengeance 2 that this whole crew has worked on. Production crew of this, phenomenal. Um, Peter Anthony, writer, director, actor, phenomenal man. Um, I'm actually taking him a little surprise, so don't post anything before Sunday night because I'm going to be giving him a huge crystal ball and it's a special award that my acting studio gives to people that have achieved excellence and it's the Actors Audition Studios Crystal Ball Award and there haven't been many given out so Peter's going to be getting one on Sunday. He might get it Saturday at a dinner. So don't post this one until, you can post this one anytime on Sunday because I'll give it to Peter Saturday night. It'll be our secret, okay? Adam, shh, don't tell. Um, playing Tina again was really, it really touched my heart because we always wanted to finish her story. And the way we played her, Tina has gone through so much. I can't tell you where she is in the movie where she ends up, but she's been kind of held um, somewhere and she's gone through a lot. So we used um, a really raggy hairpiece. I kind of aged my face even a little more. I wanted her to look haggard and exhausted and worn out from people harassing her about her powers. And I think it worked really well. And so you see her in the beginning with all of those thoughts and feelings. And then at the end, she's changed a little bit. Um, she can't be the same young girl, wide-eyed and hopeful. At the end, she's gone through an awful lot of things. So I think as a character for me to, to do that storyline and that arc, it's really cool. It was, I shot in Seattle and they had built a huge, um, huge facility that we shot in, it was awesome. And man, we just banged through it. That production crew was, Phenomenal, seriously phenomenal. And I have a scene um, with Terry Kaiser, you know, Bad News Cruise. Gee, I wonder how he ends up showing up. And uh, Kevin playing the love interest again, which is fabulous. He just grew up to continue looking better every minute. So I'm headed to Roseblood right now. And yeah, I'm in a brace, but I'm okay. It feels good to be out and doing good. Just gotta wear this for a little bit and I'll try to take it off for a picture tomorrow. But you know, behind the scenes, I'm an actor trying to hold her head together. <laughs> hold my head on, right? Anyway, I, I love your little dog. I love that you've talked about your um, little Roxy. I collect poodles and right now I have Charlie, who's just a little monster. I usually have standard poodles. I like the big ones, but right now it's Charlie. So, I just, and he has his own Instagram, by the way, Charlie Park Lincoln, so you can go check him out. Um, I'd love your viewers to go jump on my Instagram. That would be fab. I would appreciate it. And I just wanted to say hi and thank you to all your fans and your viewers. And I hope I've answered a few questions and given you some fun. Uh, I've done my best. And um, take care. I look forward to talking to you soon. Bye.